Hi, I'm Chris, and we're going through PSAT math questions from this year's PSAT exam. All right here we have question number six, and we see this equation. The question asks us which of the following ordered pairs, and that's why I listed the answer choices here. The other questions allow you to calculate an answer on your own. It doesn't really matter what the answer choices say. You're just going to calculate it and then pick the one that matches. But here we really need to utilize our answer choices to our advantage as test takers. So it says, which of the following ordered pairs is a solution to this equation? And basically what that means is a solution to the equation it means when you plug each of these in, only one of them is going to work where this will actually work out to equal to when you test those values. So the easiest way to do this is just to go through each answer choice and see what works. And the numbers here are relatively small. We have ones and twos, we have a three and a four, but most of it's ones and twos, so we know that plugging it in is not going to be a hugely difficult calculation. If you saw that the numbers were really large and really complex, then that might be an indication that there's another way to approach this problem. But since they give you all the answer choices, you've got small numbers to deal with, let's go ahead and plug them in. So in your coordinates, your coordinates are always listed x, comma y, which means whatever number is listed first, you're plugging in for x, and the second one you're plugging in for y in that equation. So if we were to test out answer choice a, for example, it's 1, 1 for the coordinate, which means when we go to plug that into this original equation, we're plugging in a 1 for x and a 1 for y. So we have 3 times 1 plus 1 equals 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, so this gives us square root of 4 equals 2. And that, in fact, does work out. So that was nice. Worked on the first shot, so we get answer choice A is our correct answer on that one for number 6. For number 7, please click here, and thanks for watching.